about 9.30, um, first day out. Uh, she might be able to hear it, we're sailing on the engine, and the reason we're doing that is because there's no wind. The wind died uh, this morning about 5 o'clock, and we had to go over to the engine. Uh, and it's, uh, we hope we're going to get some wind later because this is uh, not good. It's about 800 miles, nautical miles to Panama, and we don't have enough diesel for that, so uh, we're hoping for wind. More later. Hello, everyone. This is uh, late in the afternoon on uh, our third day from uh, crossing from Manchego towards Panama. Uh, for those of you who have good ears, you can hear there's an engine going in the background. And that's because we're running on the engine. We had good wind the first day, and we haven't had any wind at all the last 48 hours. Or virtually no wind. We do have our Genoa uh, up. It's pulled out on the end of a spinnaker pole. So it's gathering a little bit of wind, giving us about a half a knot. But uh, it's not enough wind to just run on the sails. We just lie here and flap. Uh, the good news is we're going to be getting wind, according to the weather report, in about a day and a half, and that wind should carry us all the way through to Panama. And we're about five days out of Panama. Uh, Winnie's down below taking a nap, getting ready for the evening watch. And uh, it is the Caribbean, so uh, I'm here in no shirt, just a pair of swimming trunks. And uh, it's comfy. Good afternoon. Uh, here we are on our fifth day, it's a little afternoon, fifth day of our Caribbean crossing. Uh, we're about 650 nautical miles or so from uh, Antigua. Uh, and uh, we did the first couple, three days on the engine, then uh, we got a little wind, so we pulled out uh, our general to one side and our mainsail to the other. And we sailed like that for a couple days, and we've just uh, changed our Genoa, I've taken it off the pole and moved it over to the side, so now we're sailing uh, on a very, very broad reach, um, actually it's a reach, uh, and we've just begun to turn a little bit southward, we left Antigua and headed almost directly west, because we wanted to make sure we gave the uh, Isthmus down by Columbia a wide berth, it's known for terrible weather and we can see it on the weather report. Uh, it's blowing gale force winds down there, and we don't need to be anywhere near that. So uh, we stayed at least 250 nautical miles clear of that. But we've just begun to make a bit of a turn here, and we're heading straight at the opening of the Panama Canal. And we're going that way instead of San Blas because we need to hit a bank and get some uh, U.S. dollars. We couldn't get any on Antigua. And in the San Blas Islands, there's no ATM machines of any kind, so uh, we need to bring all our cash with us. So we'll go to Panama first, uh, we'll uh, get some money, uh, probably we'll rest up a day and, and there's one or two small things we might want to do on the boat before we go down to San Blas. And then we'll take a, a week or so and sail down there, maybe a little more, come back. And then it's the big time, getting through the Panama Canal. It's uh, day seven, and uh, we're about 300 nautical miles from Panama. We're making six knots, so we have uh, something like 50 hours. But we probably won't make it in 50 hours because uh, I don't know if we're going to continue to make six the rest of the way. The wind is going to die, I think, a little bit tomorrow. We've been very lucky. We have really not had any squalls at all, so uh, it's been pretty easy sailing. Winnie had some uh, heavy wind uh, one night in her watch, but that's been about it. Um, and we've just been lazing around doing almost absolutely nothing. Uh, so we'll go to Panama first because we're going to pick up some money. 
and then we're going to sail down to the San Blas Islands. We'll be down there for a week or 10 days exploring them before we transit the canal. At the moment, Winnie's just sitting reading. Say hi, Winnie. Hello. <coughs> hello. <laughs> yeah, well, she, uh, she tried to say hello. Well, good morning again, everyone. Here we are. Uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning, and this must be day eight. Um, just to give you an idea where we are, our truck plotter says we are about 190 nautical miles from the breakwater uh, of the lagoon at the Panama Canal. And we're making six knots, which means that's about 30, a little over six knots, so that's about 30 to 32 hours from now that we'll hit that if we keep uh, the speed. That presents a little bit of a problem because 32 hours from now, 33 hours from now, it'll be about 5, 6 o'clock, starting to get dark. We're not sure we want to uh, try to get into Shelter Bay Marina in the dark. Uh, we've been told that, uh, that going in, there's some uh, reefs on the port side, you have to be careful. But we'll look at that when we get closer. I, I think we'll probably make a, take a run at it anyway, unless it's the middle of the night. Um, Aside from that, uh, we've had another night with no squalls. Yippee! Yay! Yay! Fireworks! <laughs> uh, for once, Winnie and I actually picked the right weather window. We've had eight days and more than point eight nights with no squalls, which for those people who sail passage uh, would say, well, there you go. Oh, that's the way to do it. Pick a weather window with no squalls. Uh, we've had just exactly the right wind. Um, we had a day and a half where we were on the engine, but since then, uh, the wind's been perfect. And uh, we've just had the sails pulled out and uh, we really haven't done much of anything to them. So we've had a really, really good passage so far. Uh, Winnie and I get back in the passage boat. This one is about 1,200 nautical miles, which is not the longest. The longest one we've had so far is uh, Atlantic sail. It's 2,000 nautical miles, but we've had a couple others around here between 1,000 and 1,200. So Winnie and I have sort of gotten used to it. It takes us a couple days to get into the, uh, the routine of this, uh, but then it's, everything seems to work. Um, Winnie's downstairs asleep now. I took over the watch here about 45 minutes ago. And when she gets up, we'll have a late breakfast, which is going to be yogurt and uh, some nuts and an apple. And I'm going to write a little bit about uh, what we do on a passage. It's very, very boring and dull reading because we really don't do anything. But uh, it'll give you an idea of what, uh, what actually happens when you're sitting here for eight or nine days. So it's going to be a nine-day passage. And uh, that's about right.